Hey, we're here uh, to talk about a new software update. Now, for those who know me and know anything about me, I love to host karaoke shows. And I use a software called Virtual DJ Studio. Now, there's also another software that's more popular called Virtual DJ, which is great for, you know, doing your actual DJing and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to karaoke, the software, and there's many of them out there, uh, the one that I like to use is called Virtual DJ Studio. Huge difference, two different companies, not the same thing. Look it up, Virtual DJ Studio. Alright, well, once you get the download, you can look in there. In the beta testing area, we got 2015, which did a lot of great updates. And so let's just kind of take you there. Here at the bottom of the screen, I'm just going to open up my software here. Now, I am uh, showing you the beta version, so we're going to go over to try it free. This is something I just got in, been playing with it, love it, and I am going to uh, uh, buy it and replace it with my older version of uh, 6.0. This is, like I said, uh, 7.0. They're calling it Virtual DJ Studio 2015. It's actually, uh, we're at 7.0.03, as you see there. Alright, so it's it's loading it all up, and what it's doing, it's loading up a thing called the HTTP web server. The really cool thing about that, we're just going to go over here, and we got to, I'm not sure, but we're going to hit enter a couple of times, because there's a screen that was in behind there that we couldn't really see, but after playing with this, I've really gotten familiar with it. So, anyways, uh, what we have here is we have 2015 and it's got a lot of great new features now a couple of years ago or several several years ago i did a uh, a little review about the software to tell people about it and it didn't have all the cool features in the last couple of years they've really been just really busting it and pulling out a lot of great features in it uh, which it kind of was left stagnant there for several years when we first got it there was no updates on it at all um, and then once we got an update it wasn't long and all of a sudden there's been update after update after update so anyways the improvements are now we have a thing uh, we have different tabs down here as you can see and we have music database karaoke queue saved singers and a request list so if we just kind of zoom into those and uh, it is a very low key production and you're going to see why it's you know we're not doing screenshots or anything and I wanted to use the video camera so we can get the full effect here so you can, I can kind of show you everything so anyways we have music database and um, what that is is basically we can that's where we're going to search for all of our songs okay <clears throat> over here if we go over one tab over we have a thing called karaoke queue that's going to be our song list that's going to be uh, the name of our singers their songs that they're going to be playing the duration what key they want it in and so far let's go on over to the next tab and that's going to be saved singers that's where we can save a playlist of all of our different singers and when we click on that singer it's going to bring up the songs that they like to do as you can kind of see there i've just got a few in there i've been playing around with it at uh, a show or two nothing major and then over is our request list now you might say well what's the difference between re request list and the karaoke queue of course the karaoke queue is the list of the people that are going to be singing in the order they're going to be doing 2015 has came out with a great idea of building a karaoke book app in with their actual software design which makes it really cool so in doing that app that's why we went with the uh, the camera version here we're going to go over to the tablet we're going to click that on and we'll show you how to set all this up in other videos but to just kind of give you the feature if we do this all right uh, we're going to open it up and we're going to go simply to our Google we're going to cut back over to here real quick though and in our request list we got a thing called a server button and it's just going to be right down here we're going to click on that server and what that does is that's going to tell us our IP address so when we zoom into our IP address there it's going to give us the IP address and so we want to type that <clears throat> into our tablet so I'm going to do that now 192 
Now we have to use uh, port 8080 in order for it to come up on ours. Um, you don't always have to do that, but with us we do. Okay, and we're going to go to 019. And then we got to enter all that in, which isn't no big deal. So you get a little bit of a setup deal, but it's not too bad. All right. So, all right. Now, we've entered in that information. We hit close because in our, we just put that in our browser. And as you're going to see in our tablet, it's pulled it up. And so we have this, just so you can kind of see it a little better. I'm going to bring it to the camera. You've got this here. Okay. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can search for music. Now the great thing about using this tablet is you can also do this with your phones and all of that. And I'm going to show you an easier way for your singers to enter in so they can do their books. So this app gives you two purposes. It gives you one, the uh, ability to search for songs. It's also going to give you the ability where you can do some basic um, you can kind of control the software with just some basic uh, functions. So let's go and we're going to search for our music. And now we can type in, we can type in our songs. And if we do Jason Aldean, we can do music or our karaoke. And, um, and then all we have to do is perform our search. And it says nothing was found. Let's go ahead and click on that again. Let's see. Let's just uh, let's go here. Let's, let's just type in Jason and see what we find. Oh. I can't believe I did that. 